the woman you see right now wanted to become a Barbie doll and so she spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on her countless surgeries only to end up looking like this Nightfam, how far will people go just to be someone else? Unfortunately, the woman weighed too little and her implants became too heavy for her. So she had to have surgeries to reduce some parts of her body or else it would be incredibly risky for her health. But it still wasn't enough to stop her from wanting more. I think I want to get my bruise bigger as well. She had surgeries over and over again and was even proud enough to say I am just not into the whole natural look. I like to look fake. Clearly, this woman became a victim of her own insecurities, while the next transgender woman I'm about to show you became a victim of a fake surgeon. See, she used to look like this until she realized what she wanted in life was to become a woman. So little by little she started transforming into one until she unfortunately ended up in the evil hands of a fake doctor who injected cement into her face. Have you ever heard of a clothing store that exists to help people and not make profits? Well, you have to visit our store, honesty.global. A unique humanitarian clothing where you get to choose who you want to help while buying amazing high quality clothes. It took us two years to set up this store and I cannot express how proud I am of the designs, the quality and most importantly the fact that you can shop with purpose. If you appreciate what we do, please support our charity work by visiting honesty.global. Back to the video. She became known as the Cement Face Woman and instead of getting sympathy from other people, she was even bullied. People, people saying what? Oh, calling me monster and freak of nature. See, sometimes we don't realize that we are enough and so we want to be more ending up destroying ourselves like this woman who was also a victim of a fake surgeon who injected oil into her face making her looking nothing like the attractive woman she was before even being called the scariest looking person in the world and what about the man who wanted to become like his idol Kim Kardashian. He paid over $170,000 just to copy her. But he had so much lip fillers that he was called the British Lip King. He got addicted to plastic surgeries and even said this plastic surgery is 100% like s you can't have it once. You have to have it over and over and over. Now, you know how some people believe bigger is better? Maybe that's why this woman decided to have the world's biggest cheeks. And for this other woman, the world's biggest lips. Nightfam, just to be clear, this video is not to shame these people. After all, they have the right to do whatever they want to do with their bodies. And truth is, these people have all been just victims. Victims of their own insecurities. Victims of a society with unrealistic beauty standards. And even victims of people who want nothing but money. But I do hope these stories remind you that the the best version of yourself is always the truest version of yourself. So I want you to hear it from me right now, Nightfam. You are enough. <laughs>